What's up, guys? Welcome to Top Gen, the generational game show where Gen Z, Millennials, Gen X, and Boomers compete for money so they can waste it on pills, shrooms, weed, and acid. Probably, respectively, that's for you, Gary. Yeah. I'm your host, Akash Singh, and today we are going to see which of these generations reps their culture to the fullest. But before we get to business and start playing the game, let's meet the four contestants coming to us from their virtual pods right here in the Complex Studio. Holding it down for the boomers, we have Gary. Gary, what's up, man? I'm alive. I'm still here. You're alive? Is that all you're looking for? Just waking up each day? Well, at this age, that's the most important thing. Gary, what do you do with your days? I'm a director of IT at a medium-sized company. I work. If I was you, I wouldn't want to wake up most days. I'm going to be honest with you. That is it's a bitch. the most boring fucking job I've ever no, heard in no, my life. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's not boring. It's, uh, it is distressing. Well, one good thing about being IT is you probably know a lot of Indians. So if I went to your office, I'm sure I can translate for you. And actually, we're hiring. You're hiring? Well, as soon as okay. the show gets canceled, I'm coming to you, Gary. <laughs> okay. Representing Gen X, we have Curtis. Curtis, what's up, man? What up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on, what's going on? Curtis, tell me something about yourself, man. Why are you gonna win today? Oh, uh, man, I used to be an old school rapper, you know? You sound like you used to be an old school rapper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I designed clothes and everything too, so, you know. I got a little flavor. Where did you sell your music? Times Square? Nah, nah, nah. I had a record deal back in the day. Get out of here, dog. With whom? Tribal Records. So those are the same people yeah. that signed New Edition? I hope not. No, 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 no. OK, good deal. <laughs> Looking forward to talking to you more. But we got to move on to my generation, the millennials. Let's give it up for Dina. Dina, What's how are on? you, girl? I'm good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Dina, what puts you in touch with pop culture? I'm a trivia host. You're a trivia host? OK, so you know a lot of history, but this is pop culture. Who says trivia is not pop culture? Also, I'm a millennial. Pop culture is our bread and butter and our lifeblood. We subsist on memes and, like, depression medication. I have confidence you win just because you said subsist correctly and used it in a <laughs> sentence properly. So I think you're going to do you. well, Thank Dina. You. But let's move on to the last and least generation, truly my least favorite people on Earth. Guys, give it up for Brenda representing Gen Z. Brenda, how are you? Wagwan. Oh, that was OK, cool. I seen Top Boy, too. I know what you're doing. All right, <laughs> Brenda, tell me something about yourself. What do you do, miss? Um, I do a lot. I'm an entrepreneur. I invest a lot. I do stocks. I do website designing. Uh, I know how to hack. Uh... That's the most Gen Z answer you have. My blood started <laughs> boiling as soon as you said that. I'm an entrepreneur. I am. Get out of here with your little eBay business, OK? First of all. You sell some sneakers on StockX that don't make you an entrepreneur, Brenda. It's called Poshmark, OK? <laughs> We're not going to do this. <laughs> I am teasing Brenda. Even though I like teasing Gen Z, y'all are sweet kids, and I'm rooting for you today. I want you to know I'm that. I'm not a kid. I am a woman. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, God, I'm out. I'm done rooting for Brenda, guys. Anyway. Thank you. But, guys. We got to get to round one, and round one is called Real Quick. Here's how it works. Each question in this round has many answers, and we will play each question until somebody either answers incorrectly or can't answer fast enough. You will have three seconds to give a correct answer, and that will earn you a point. But if your answer is wrong or too late, you are muted for the rest of the round. The last generation standing wins the round and gains control of the board in round two. Does everybody get it? Yep. Yes, got it. This first question, I'm going to go oldest to youngest, OK? Real quick, name movie theater snacks Gary. Twizzlers. Curtis. Raisinets. Dina. Popcorn. Brenda, that was easy, good for you. Come on. Skittles. Skittles, good call, Gary. Nachos with cheese. Nachos with cheese. I like the way you live. Curtis. Uh, uh, Slurpee. You know what? That's a, I see. I'll take that. Dina. Bunch of crunch. My favorite. That's good. Brenda. Pretzels. Pretzels? I don't think pretzels are a movie theater snack. I'm going to be honest with you. Brenda. It's a snack. It's a snack. It's not a, you ever gone to a movie theater and bought a fucking Philly pretzel, pretzel? factory? Pretzels, yes. <laughs> they have the pretzels where the nachos are. I always get them. How are you going to tell me? I'm going to go to the judges. OK, all right, a soft pretzel is acceptable. OK, we'll keep going. Gary. Hot dogs. Hot dogs, Curtis. Oh, I took it. 
Oh, he took that one. Oh, uh, man. Uh, Curtis, I'm sorry. You are muted from this round. I know that wasn't hip enough for you. I get it. We are moving to our next question. From youngest to oldest, name members of the Kardashian and Jenner family. Brenda. I'll name the Libra since I'm a Libra. Kim Kardashian. Dina. Wow, Chloe. Chloe. Gary. Kyle. Kyle Jenner. Kyle Jenner. Oh, who is that? Is there a Kyle <laughs> Jenner? <laughs> he used to be. No. No, you say used to be. That's Bruce, dog. Bruce only used yeah, well, to be. Yeah, we're not going to Bruce. Okay, we're not going there. That's no. the only used yeah. to be, dog. No, no, hey, no, I appreciate that. your no, effort. No. We're gonna give you that out of pity, okay. and it was close How? enough. How? Oh that's no, fair. that was not fair. That's cheating. No, no, it's it's. He said Kyle. That's a, that's a different person. Yeah, it's hearing defective. Yeah. Brenda, we gave you pretzels, even though you didn't specify. We thought you were talking about fucking Ritzes, and we gave it to you. Roll gold. Brenda, go. Name a Kardashian <laughs> member. Kendall. Kendall, she knows. Dina. Chris Jenner. Chris, the source of all evil. Gary, go. The devil herself. Uh, I don't know another one. I knew you wouldn't know another one. It's all good, though. I'm impressed you got Kyle, because that was almost one. It's close. Sadly, you are muted from the rest <laughs> of the round. And now we are moving on to our final question of this round. <laughs> Name streaming apps. Dina. Hulu. Brenda. Apple Music. Dina. Amazon. Brenda. Netflix. Dina. Disney Plus. Ooh, Brenda. Spotify. Dina. Peacock. Brenda. Amazon Prime. Amazon has already been used. Sadly, that eliminates you from this round. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. Amazon is not a streaming Muter, app. Muter, though. She's Amazon wrong. is just for <laughs> buying stuff. Amazon Prime is a streaming app, so she actually said the wrong thing. Nothing has ever given me more pleasure than muting you right now. You are muted for the rest of the round. Dina, I almost want to do a round with just you, just so I can enjoy the silence that is not having to hear Brenda <laughs> tell me why I'm wrong. I get enough of that from my wife. Dina, you won round one. You gain control of the board in round two. Well done, we are moving on to round two. So far, Dina is in the lead for the Millennials with eight points. Brenda is right behind her with Gen Z with seven points. The Boomers and Gary got four points. Oh. And Curtis is in last place with two points. In this round, we're gonna see how much knowledge you really have in what we call, if you know, you know. On the top gen big board, you'll see spaces numbered one through nine. Behind each block is a question from any of the generations. Some are multiple choice, some are true false, some rely on photos and videos, plus there are some hidden surprises on the board that could vastly improve your odds of making it to the finals. The two contestants with the highest scores at the end of this round move on to the top gen finals right here on the top gen stage with me, while the bottom two, you're not good enough, go the fuck home. <laughs> uh, that's what my father used to say. Brenda, you gotta, yo. We're, we're about You're to... taking forever. Since Dina won real quick, you get control of the top gen big board. Name a block one through nine. Let's get this shit started. All right, I'm gonna go with uh, block number seven, please. Block number seven, lucky number seven. I like the way you work. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this is a triple double. It is double as hard, but it can triple your overall score from the last round even. It's a tough question, but it's worth a lot of points. Multiply the number of Dalmatians in the classic Disney movie by the number of musketeers. Dina. 303. Dina, it is 303. Good for you. I thought I buzzed in, no? no? Not faster than me, friend. But you know how in Jeopardy, sometimes multiple people buzz in and it doesn't really I matter know. if you don't buzz in first? That's one of the problems of aging is slower reflexes. Shit. That is true, honestly. You should get the first chance to buzz in if we're gonna be fair about things. <laughs> yeah, I We should I give you so. an extra half a second to buzz in. This isn't real life, this is competition. Well, that is real life. Boomers don't get anything extra. Oh, damn. I like Dina's fire, dog. Dina don't give a fuck about your age, Gary. What? Dina trying to send you home, bruh. Apparently, yes. <laughs> She's aggressive. She's got the wheelchair ready, doesn't she? Dina, you maintain control of the board. Pick a number one through nine. I'm gonna go with number five, please. Number five. Let's see what number five is talking about. True or false, the vice president under Bill Clinton was Hillary Clinton. No. Dina again. 
And the answer is false. Dina is correct. The vice president under Bill Clinton was Al Gore. Hillary, you'll remember, loses everything she ever does. Okay, oh. Dina, you maintain, you maintain control of the big board. One through nine, what are you thinking? I'm going number one, because that's what I'm walking away with. This is another true or false question. The first ever Lord of the Rings book, The Fellowship of the Ring, was published in 1954. Brenda. True. True, Brenda, you got that. Well done, I, Brenda. I, I buzzed in. Uh, Curtis, I think we're being played in this, Curtis. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. That's what I think's going on, yeah. Women are smarter than men. If you guys didn't know. I don't object to that, but yeah. Brenda, pick one of the remaining blocks. Number three. Number three, keeping it odd, I like this. Who is the man in the Hawaiian shirt in this video? Y'all got no fucking clue. Gary, this is for you, dog. Ah, man, I buzzed it. Pat Boone. Pat Boone? What are you trying to remember the Alamo, motherfucker? <laughs> this John Wayne dog is the Duke. I'm a Texan. How do you not know this? I I buzzed. The image uh, is listen. It, the picture John is too Wayne. small. I don't know who John Wayne is. I John know Wayne. you don't, was... girl. You don't need to. He was mad racist, but he was a legend in his time. No, he wasn't. I was there. How can you be both? I I buzzed in for John Wayne. I didn't know John Wayne walked like that. You can't really be both. It's kind of like R. Kelly. All right, guys, last question of the round. Brenda, oh, you God. maintain control of the board. I'll take number two. Number two. It is the triple double. This can triple your overall score, but it is double as hard, so it is still anybody's game if you get this right. Multiply the number of fantastic Legally Blonde movies by the number of times Jennifer Lopez was engaged. Gary. I don't have a clue. No, he's not gonna get it. You're exactly right, I have no option, no chance of getting this, but I'll guess anyway. Uh, let's say nine. Nine is damn close, but it is not correct. Uh, Sadly, it is 10. I knew it! Why did you just give it to me? There were two <laughs> Legally Blonde movies, one of which was very good, and J-Lo, five times she's been engaged. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the end of round two. Dina and Brenda, you guys are moving on to round three. Curtis and Gary, God damn it, man, you let me down. Gary, you seem fun in a really bitter way and I'm never gonna get to know you. Curtis, you talked a big game and then turns out he didn't know shit. Oh. Hey. Womp womp. Be nice to Curtis. Is there anything you guys would like to say? I ain't hear no- I'm just kidding, we don't care. I, I Welcome to round three. Our final two contestants have reached the finish line. Our rapid fire battle to determine which generation reigns supreme. Here's how it works. 60 seconds will get put on the clock and I will read a famous pop culture saying, quote, or song lyric and all you guys have to do is finish the line. We're gonna play the round back and forth until time expires. The contestant with the highest score at the end of the round wins the game, banks $100, and also earns the opportunity to take the victory lap where you can potentially triple that money, maybe even more. In this round, we're starting from scratch, so all your scores are back at zero and you're on equal footing. Got it? Got it. Okay, are you guys ready? Ready, ready. We're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock. Dina, you won the last round, so we're gonna start with you, okay? okay? Let's get it. It was all a dream. And that's the bottom line, cause... What? No. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100% that bitch. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday's price is not today's price. There you go. I'm amazed you got that. Yes. Girl. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. Brenda, I'm going to knock you out. Mama said, knock you out. I, yeah, these are the best guesses that's ever happened on this show. GTL, Jim, Tan. Laundry, hello? Brenda, what's your name, girlfriend? Maya. Okay, it was what's your name? I'm amazed you didn't get that one based on the last two. When I'm with you, all I get is wild? I have no idea. DNA is thoughts. Brenda, Luke, I am your? Your mother. Father, 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 I'm sorry. It is not delivery, it's? DiGiorno. There you go, right at the buzzer. <laughs> That brings us to the end of the round. Dina, you got five points. Brenda, you know what the fuck you did. <laughs> Luke, I am your mother. How'd that even come to your mind, yo? 
Because I'm a girl. <laughs> Nobody even had a mom in that whole movie. Literally no one had a mom. I didn't even watch the movie. There's only one parent. It's I the know. father. <laughs> it's Luke's father. It's Darth Vader. <sighs> I said father. All right, well, listen. You clearly, said it has seconds. I, listen, I said it within the seconds. Clearly from that answer, you do not belong in the victory lap. <laughs> you are eliminated. You and your Bam Bam Bigelow pants can get the <laughs> fuck out of this show. Dina, we're getting you set up for the victory lap. Welcome to the Victory Lab. Dina, you represented the millennials well. You made them the top gen. You are our winner. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. But, you know, beating Gen Z isn't really saying much. So we'll yeah, see how we do Yeah, here. I agree. They're a terrible generation. But <laughs> the important thing is you won and you got $100 and you can earn more in this round. Perfect. Here's how it works. Spanning the four generations, you got to identify all things pop culture. It can be celebrities. It can be the event. It can be the toy, whatever. And every image you identify correctly earns you $25 in addition to the 100 you already got, so you can walk out of here tripling your money, maybe even more if you're on point. Love it. Feeling ready? I'm so ready. Let's do it. All right, put 45 seconds on the board and let's get it. Who is this? No idea. Lil Yachty, next. Who is this, Queen? Uh, Lauren Hill. Thank you. Who is this? Shit, I don't know. Freddie Prince, next. Who is this? The Andre the Giant? Not at all. Next, what is this? <laughs> the Great Challenge. I'll accept Love that, that next. Who is this? Freddy Krueger. Hell yeah, you know that. Who is this? Uh, Jackie Robinson. No, Shit. other black baseball player. Next, who is this? <laughs> I don't know. Ed Sullivan, next, who is this? <laughs> oh, Lizzo, come on. There we go, next, Keep who is this? Here. Whoopi. All right, you're doing better on your the black people. Purple. Next, who is this? What is this? Uh, um, conjunction Junction. Uh, what's your School function? Schoolhouse Rock. I'll take this. Come on. Who's next? It's a it's a jukebox. There what we go. Mean? What is that? Jukebox <laughs> is correct, but I don't think you got it in time. No. Oh, the judges are giving it to you. Oh. Beautiful. That's an extra twenty-five dollars, which gives you seven correct answers. That means you got one hundred and seventy-five dollars this round, added to the hundred you got last time, and that is two hundred and seventy-five dollars total. That is not bad, Dina. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having me. Of course, <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time. See who is the top gen. I promise you, it won't be the boomers. These fucking losers. <laughs>